the business you want to do in life, mm-hmm. you will succeed. But please, please, brother, you my brother, I'm begging you, mm-hmm. stop involving into the affairs of men of God. Let God judge them, please. This is just his brother. I'm just begging you, please. You can do business. You can invest. You can do a lot of stuff in life. But when it comes to the kingdom of God, we know we have fake pastors and we have genuine pastors. But this is not our responsibility to get involved into judgment. We leave God to handle this, that situation or those situations. As a friend, I'm just begging you, please, stop involving yourself into men of God. Because <coughs> if one of the men of God you are fighting is really a servant of God, it means you are fighting God. And you can fight God and win. And when you begin to fight God, there will be something God will do against you. I think you're still very young and you have your future, you have your, I can see that you have a bright destiny. I would like you to focus on your life and leave this thing of men of God alone because it's so dangerous. So that's the simple advice I could give you as a brother, as a friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I ask you something, sir? Yes, you can ask me. Are you a man of God yourself? Yes, I'm a man of God. And what's the name of your church? I don't have a church. I have a ministry. I have a gospel plus ministry. We uh, we are we have an outreach ministry in the United States, in the in the Congo. So, what do you say about all the wickedness that is being perpetrated by your fellow men of God that are claiming to be men of God or to be servants of God? What's your take on it? <clears throat> Can I just cut you there? There is also a scripture in the Bible, if I recon properly. When Jesus Christ entered the temple, the church of God, Uh and he started whipping each and every one that was in the temple of God, conducting business in the house of God. Uh Uh Was that not Jesus' demonstration that if any man tries to do anything that is nothing to do with the gospel of Christ, using the name of God or in a place of worship should be reprimanded and should be revoked and should be exposed and chased out of the entire church of God. That's the same thing I am doing. There's a lot of damage that has been caused by your fellow men of God, by your fellow pastors, and no one has been doing anything about it. So by rebuking them and exposing them, what we are just trying to do is to clean up the church What I'm just trying to do here is to awaken vulnerable souls that have been lied to, that have been taken for a ride, that have been led astray from the true gospel of Christ. Because the gospel that is being preached by these dubious prophets, by these dubious pastors, has nothing to do with Christ. It has everything to do with just robbing innocent souls and gullible spiritual people. So for how long are we going to sit and watch while is the name of God is being right. used in vain? Uh, I, 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 while is the sorry, body man. of Christ I'm is being damaged? Happy. I'm very happy when you talk about Jesus ripping the temple, standing against those people who were doing that. Who's Jesus? Jesus He's, is God. Mm-hmm. Jesus is God. Yes. Jesus is actually is the God that we pray. That is responsibility to hit those people. Mm-hmm. Is re- responsibility to judge those people. Mm-hmm. It's not our our responsibility is to preach the right gospel because the Bible.
Bible says that the word that I'm speaking to you are spirit, are, are spirit. But do you, are, do you agree that faith. in the Bible it is said we are allowed to judge and condemn evil, evilness and wickedness? We, we judge, we judge, we judge through scripture. Exactly. Our judgment is based on scripture. Our judgment the in the Bible that we preach is based. Our judgment is based on scripture. The Bible so says. So if I want to judge a fellow man of God, mm -hmm. yeah. And can you go ahead? No, I like the verse that you want to talk about right now. You can go on. You say no, if no, I want to judge. Yeah, you were saying if I want to judge a man yeah. of God, I should what? Our judgment is based on scripture. Okay. Right? Okay. Our listen, I think you have missed it already. Scripture. What I'm what I meant to say is there's a verse in the Bible which says, "Do not judge, but mm. if you want to make a judgment upon someone, make sure that your judgment is righteous, and you are not as guilty mm. as the judgment that you are passing towards the other person." I'm not mm. guilty of fornication. I'm not guilty of lying to people using the gospel. I'm not guilty of raping vulnerable souls in the praise and worship. I'm not guilty of stealing money from people in the name of God. So my judgment is righteous. Everything that I'm judging these charlatans and these false prophets, I'm not guilty of it. And for me to watch, for people like us to watch and just say, let God deal with them. God is using me to expose them so that we can protect the body of Christ. I'm actually disappointed hearing a man of God as you claim to be a servant of God, defending these men that are promiscuous, these men that are thieves, these men that are tainting the body of Christ, these men that are killing the hope, the little hope that the people of God were left with. No one believes in Christ anymore. No one believes in church anymore. No one believes in God anymore. Because you people, you have done so much damage you have lied to people, you have pretended, you have given yourself positions which no one has assigned you. God does not recognize 99% of the people that are calling him in churches. They are all saying God, God with their mouth, but in their hearts they are dirty. In their hearts they are uh, no, rotten. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I think we don't have to go so far. As I said, for me, it was just uh, an advice. No, and when, when it comes, yes, advice, let me hold you right there. Let me advise you instead. When it comes to matters of, the, of Christ, we don't need to defend wickedness. We don't need to defend evil. I, if you're in the business of defending this when I Listen, when I, say, when I started my statement, I told you, I told you one thing. I'm just defending a man of God. And I told you really that in the body of Christ, we are fake and genuine men of God. Are you a genuine man of God? And then what I say to you was... Okay, I'm asking you in your personal capacity. Your... Are you a genuine yeah. man of God? Yeah, I'm, I'm a servant of God, man. No, I, but I mean, are you a genuine man of God? I am a genuine man of God. So why are you defending wickedness? Yeah. If you are really saving Christ? I, I'm not... I am not. I am not defending wickedness. So why are you advising me to stop exposing wickedness. wickedness? Why are you advising me to I'm, stop exposing wickedness? If you are really representing God, Christ. Listen to me, my brother. Yes. I am not saying you because there, there are people you can expose. You think they are because your judgment is based on what you see. Because no, when we it's not based on what I see. <laughs> if I post a video, if I saw a video of Nana Poku in a bathtub having sexual intercourse with a married woman what do you tell me am i judging based on what i feel or what i think or what i see or what is wrong if i post a video if i talk about magaya if i talk about any other man of god makandiwa and bushiri and anyone you can think of these people they have a track record of manipulating people financially these people have a track record of ripping people's marriages these people have a track record of destroying the body of christ and you are saying that my judgment is not justified. In what capacity are you saying all that? And you are saying you are a true man yeah. of God. So in other words, what yeah. you are saying what is I the victims you, must suffer you, and we must protect the vouchers. What I said to you, what I said to you it was an advice. What was so the advice? If you feel like you are able, if you feel like you are really able and habilitated to 
on that uh, that uh, exposure, exposure, that's good, you can go ahead. But what I said in the beginning was, let God judge those people. Because even a man of God, you see him lying with somebody's wife. Even a man of God, you see Once he is lying with someone's wife, he's not a man of God. He don't even put that title. Don't use the name of God in vain. Don't use the name of God in vain. If God has chosen... No, you wait. You are offline right now. You are off-ramping. You see how you people misuse the scriptures. Do you see how you misuse the scriptures? In the Bible, we saw a man of God sleeping and killed... Which man of God? Which man of God? Somebody's wife, they killed somebody's husband, he took the wife. That was before yes, Jesus Christ, right? That was before Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. That was before that Jesus Christ. Rem- the man remained still. God doesn't change. That was before God Jesus Christ, changed. right? The same God. That was before the advent yes. of Christ, right? But so yes, you are you going to be God. promiscuous because David in the Bible was promiscuous? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Man of God, my brother, no one is perfect. What no do you do? You, listen to yourself, man of God. When no you say no one is, perfect. listen. Do you know why you? I'm not judging don't anyone. Judge the fact that you are using that line, the perfection line, that no, no, no one is perfect. Don't judge you are using it as a right don't to judge sin. Based on their you are using don't it judge as why can't people be perfect? Mistake. Why can't people be fe- be perfect, especially men of God? Why can't they be holy? That's what I'm saying. No. No, let's not tolerate that wickedness. Let's no, not let's not open a door. Let's not allow it to exist no. in men of God. No. Why can't a man of God be pure? Why can't why can holiness be a normal? Holiness must be a standard. No compromise. If you have taken the oath, listen my listen my brother. If you have taken the oath and the responsibility to preach the word of God, bro, to preach to people of God, me, you I'm must be cleansed I'm of all the blemishes. Okay, let me you must be holy, and let you me must me be perfect. You. Let me please, please, bro, please. In South Africa, uh, when was it? In 2014. Yes. And then, I was serving under a Ghanaian man of God. Ghanaians bro, are promiscuous, most of them. They are charlatans. Yeah. In- to be continued. I'll check you again on the next episode of the Inlatima series. It's Mr. PDT.